Hey guys, it's Gina with Why Fiction Freaks. So soon, yes, and I am going to do a review on the Iron Knight. I'm so sorry because I didn't have it up. I want to show it to you. Um, and actually, I read it on my Kindle, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to pull it up here. I want to show you guys um, how great the cover looks um, of this book. So, on the Kindle. Um, so, oh, doesn't that look good? I mean, even though it's not in color, I just love how they look. It's just so graphic novel-y rich, and, and this video doesn't even do it justice. I mean, to look at it, it's just really sharp and rich. The ink is just really black, and it's really cool. So there's Prince Ash. Oh, I love him. Uh, so this is by Jolie Cogwa, as probably all of you guys know. And um, I did a review on Goodreads and on my account, and I also it's also up on our blog. It's whyfictionfreaks.blogspot.com, and if you scroll down on our main page, you can go into my sister Angie, who does reviews on this video on on this channel, which she hasn't in a while, and I keep telling her to do it, but. Um, you can go to click on her account and see her Goodreads. She updates it all the time. I do too, so mine's on there. So it'll say Angie's Goodreads account and Gina's. Because somehow I ended up with two, and one of them I use like all the time, and the other one I, I've tried to delete it and I can't figure it out. So there's not many books on it. So if you go to the blog spot and click on that one, you'll get the right one. So, but anyway, I'm kind of going to be looking at my screen over here um, at my other computer because I did some notes, but my first thing on my review was wow. So this was another awesome, great story um, in the Iron Fay series. Um, it did not disappoint. I love the whole book. I didn't want it to be over. Well, I, the only complaint I could ever have is that it would the book would have been even bigger <laughs> because I didn't want it to end. I wanted to know how it ended, but I didn't want it to end. I love being in this Iron Fay world. And I love um, her writing. I love the characters. I love um, Ash and his little tormented self. And um, the great thing was that Jolie Kagawa had said that she um, didn't intend on writing the Iron King series, um, or I'm sorry, the Iron Knight book. Um, she attended on leaving it off at Iron Queen, but um, she spoke with, um, I think it was her editor, and uh, the fans just fell in love with Ash and wanted more, so she decided to give all the Team Ash fans um a book that featured him and it's from his perspective so and told more of his story so thank you Julie Cogwell that was awesome and um, I was very happy with the whole book there even in slower parts of the book um, which there wasn't a whole lot but even when it slows down a little bit um, I never cared because again I just loved being in the Iron Fae world and being with the character I could just be sitting under a tree with Ash as he's thinking um, because I was cool with that because I just wanted to be with him uh, the characters and Puck of course is along for the ride you get a lot of him the cat Sith Grimalkin he is right along with them there's some new characters that come on board so it's um, it's just awesome at times your heart breaks for Ash um, and puck and sometimes it your heart soars for them and it's it's happy it's heartbreaking it's it's action-packed there's adventure this series has always reminded me of Alice in Wonderland and that's the kind of feel you still get it's that world is still there like that so it's awesome um, this is Ash's journey uh, for the most part and I just wanted to see if there was anything that I should say that I didn't um, think about. Um, oh, I had put on my review that I love the cat Sith. So he was in a lot of this book, and I was so glad because when she has him, when he dis decides to disappear, of course, when danger's always around, he, you know it because 
Grimalkin, dis Grimalkin disappears right before it. So, and they've grown to know that, but um, I just love him and I just want to give him a big hug. But uh, in my review, I was saying that my written review, I was saying that I would love to give him a hug, but of course I know that Grimalkin would actually hate that. Although, probably now I think about it, he'd probably really like it, but he'd act like he hated it. So, <laughs> but uh, these characters are great, and I, I would never have wanted to miss reading this series. So if you haven't read this series, um, book one, Iron King, book two, Iron Daughter, book three, Iron Queen, and book four, Iron Knight. I have all the actual books on my bookshelf except for this one, although it's such a favorite that I am going to be buying this one so that it sets on my bookshelf and so but for now I ha I just have it on my Kindle but it looks so awesome so I hope you guys get it I hope um, you read through it I have somebody here at work who um, just started reading it she's on the first book and then uh, my sister Angie is on the second book and so far they are really loving it so I don't think it will disappoint. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope I'll probably do more um, videos before Christmas. But just in case, Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you're having a great season uh, with your family. And happy reading. Bye.